Hello. Hello. Amonike, well done. Thank you for being an upstarter. Vivian, well done. Thank you. Thank you for joining again. Hello. Now we're in the right channel. I made a mistake by clicking my own uh, page, my own personal page. Long story or short story. Be here and now. Hello, Tatiana. Thank you, Gloria, for sharing already. Oh, yeah, okay, good evening. Julie, good evening. Vivian, good evening. Thank you all for joining again. Um, I've taken a lot of our time already, but I'd like to say thank you for coming back or coming via the right channel or the right page. So thank you very much. I didn't actually realize until this told me that I'm on my page. Okay, anyway, let's get started now. Um, I'll think about my scenes later. Okay, um, it's a Sunday. I'm going to turn the camera to him and he will continue. Thank you. I have a book that is called, uh, that is already out. It's going to be on Amazon soon. It's called How to Be Here Now. And uh, that is, a lot of people are suffering from that disease. And it's a disease daydreaming and uh, rushing to do everything. So that's the problem Iowa is having. And so sorry for that. If you have been waiting for us or looking for us and wondering where we have been or you've gone to the wrong page. So today, the this platform is a platform that we're using to showcase people who have been listening to DSA or who have been coming to uh, my platform to hear one thing or you know, to listen to one message or the other. So if you have been coming here for over some time, you also stand a chance of coming of being able to be uh, profiled as a fruit, uh, kingdom fruit one of these days. Uh, the, so we are actually profiling and showing people's work who have been listening to me in the, you know, for if, you know, the period of one year or less and who have been able to bring forth some fruit in their lives. And this is to show you the alternative. This is to let you know that this is what the church is supposed to be about. And the church doesn't have to be um, in a building. It doesn't have to even be in the same location. You know, like now, I don't know where you are. Uh, some of you have never been to Ukraine. But we're one body, body of Christ. We're a church right now. We're having church right now. And so this platform is going to provide the alternative to the body of Christ. It's going to be provide the alternative uh, to Christianity, what church is meant to do, what church is meant to, you know, how church is meant to operate. Church is about re producing songs and releasing deliverers and saviors. So church is about releasing people who are able to discover and know, who are going to be helped to discover their purpose and their mission in life, and who are going to live a life of, you know, pursuing their dreams to please God on the earth, by bringing down the will of God to the earth as it is in heaven. So we are, pro we are, we are profiling people like that. And today we are going to profile one of such people that uh, started listening to me a few months ago and, uh, and several months ago. And now, you know, let, we were going to see the result that he's already having as a result of following me. So his name is Paul Eshupofo. Oriade Paul Eshupofo Oriade Paul Eshupofo Eshupofo I think that could mean Satan has lost or what? Yeah, Satan is defeated I guess So, because Eshupofo I couldn't pronounce that name before Then it appeared to me that Oh wow, I think this is uh, A familiar word in Yoruba actually I never even knew it was Yoruba. It was a Yoruba word at first. But because I've lost touch with Yoruba, actually. Yeah. So, thank God. So, Paul Eshupofo Oriade. It says, my name is Paul. I'm a creative, multi-dimensional filmmaker, 
born in Nondo State, 40 years old. Actually, he's 40 years today. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> he is 40 years old today. So Paul is 40 years old today. So we got him in the right day, the right time. Maybe they, maybe they, maybe they pulled the trick out together with my wife. But uh, he's 40 years old today. And uh, so uh, he's, he's the fifth of 10 children. Wow. Uh, Catholic background. He's been born again for 25 years. So this guy had been born again for 25 years. He heard about, he heard about Pastor Sunday 20 years ago. Then in 2009, he stumbled on my Facebook page. But from November, 22nd of November to be precise, uh, he wrote to me and I replied him. And he started watching my live broadcast uh, in May 2016, last year. So, uh, and he also heard some good things about me from his spiritual father. Uh, evangelist Mike Bamiloye, that is the owner of Zion Christian Films. So, um, so uh, he said, I had the vision to start a drama film school online. So that's why I started to follow Dr. Sunday Elijah twice a day live to see how he does his live broadcast. You see, wisdom. I think we should not just be admiring or coming here to listen. But we should also be learning what every person is doing so that we could learn from each, each, person's, uh, uh, each person's experience and each person's uh, success. So this guy had always had a dream to have a, a film, a film school or a drama film school. But when he saw me coming on online twice a day, he got that idea that, yes, this is it. I could actually do the same thing Pastor Sunday is doing. So he decided to learn. But I mean, to study me, to study the way I was doing it. But while studying me, he was also listening to the message. <laughs> so he was getting double portion of the blessing. And uh, so then he started the drama film school on Facebook Live. And he is, and he's probably the only person in Africa that has that kind of school online. So my life before encountering Pastor Sunday was not bad, although I had a religious mindset to some extent. How can you be from Nigeria and not have the religious mindset? All of us had. We have to be delivered. Everybody needs deliverance from religion in Nigeria. I was coached and surrounded by good pastors, Pastor S.A. Awe, I think, a disciplinarian, groomed me in the Lord. My drama mentor is evangelist Mike Abameloye, who is also a disciplinarian. In 2009, I saw Pastor Sunday talking about, Niger about Nigeria at Reverend Samadiya Miss Church. My encounter with Pastor Sunday has been great because he thoroughly understands the Bible and questions people's ideas, okay? <laughs> I am here to testify to the fact that I learned to be more committed and to be more sensitive to my purpose. Uh, you know, since I started listening to Pastor Sunday, that is. Uh, the, the Facebook daily live broadcast uh, was a huge encouragement to me. I have learned many things from Dr. Adelaja. I haven't paid attention to the word biomass, for example, not until I started listening to him. Biomass, yeah, you people know what is a biomass. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like Pastor Sunday is the one who introduced this word to the English, to the world, right? I have also been able to discover myself through the Who Am I teaching series. Dr. Adelaja also thoroughly explained the chemistry of a woman, and these teachings gave me more insight and helped my relationship with women. I dramatized when I teach in public, and some said, I am different now. I am so analytical in my thinking now since I started listening to Dr. Sunday. So, what are the challenges of listening to Dr. Sunday? Because I always encourage people to share their problems, the challenges they face in listening to Pastor Sunday, so that you will know, all of you that are watching here, that it will not always be a smooth ride. And if Satan is not fighting it, then it's not God. So, first of all, the big, biggest problem I face being, in Nigeria, being based in Nigeria is that of data. Uh, no internet connection. So, 
he had to put a lot of money into that to make sure that he's coming on twice a day in Nigeria. That's a lot of money. And then the second challenge he had was poor electricity supply. He said he, said he had to always use generator to and buy fuel to watch the videos. So that's a major expense as well for him. But he had to, you see, he takes the number. If anything is not costing you anything, maybe it's not worth it. But if you really value something, you pay the price for it. So he's not just paying the price of time like us, like here in this country. At least people who live around me, you don't even pay for internet or anything. You don't even think about electricity or internet or data. <laughs> you just need to find the time and have your food or something on the on. That's all. So, but apart from just the time that you need to find, uh, but for him, he also needed to find the time, but he still needed to fight all other hindrances that were on his way. So, you know, and that's why I think that, uh, you know, if you are living in the West, you are so privileged. The only thing you need to do is to make sure that you don't just listen, because a lot of people come to listen live, or maybe afterwards, but you just listen once. If you have listened to Pastor Sunday just once, it's that you have not listened at all. I will encourage you to listen to every message for at least four to seven times. But with him, it's very difficult. It will be very difficult for them to do that if they are based in Nigeria. No internet, no power supply. But if you you don't have that problem, what a privilege! So another challenge that I faced following Pastor Sunday is that a lot of people speak nasty things about him. People don't even need to speak; just go to Google. <laughs> You hear all kind of rumors, there are all kind of news. Uh, but he said, uh, but these nasty uh, things have been said by people who don't follow Pastor Sunday's teachings. But I was able to overcome that as well because Pastor Sunday to me is an embodiment of Christ himself, a carrier of God. Thank you. Yeah, and that is why we are doing this platform. This is one of the goals of this platform. To help people to know that everybody can become a God carrier. And I said I'm going to do a series on that. How to be a God carrier and how to manifest God in the flesh. So I'm going to teach on that. How to carry God. How to reveal Jesus in the flesh. Because many people keep on telling me that. That one of the things that has attracted them to me. And especially people who have really been following. Is that they said you express Christ. We see Jesus in you. We see Jesus in the flesh. And I want to let you know that this is supposed to be something normal. Every Christian is supposed to be a Christ, a God carrier, and a Jesus revealer. But uh, if we now say people are Christians and we are not seeing Christ in them, in the sense that I'm not saying seeing their behavior or seeing Christ in them that you are so kind. You know, carrying God and manifesting God or manifesting Christ is much more than that. That you are just, oh, you are kind, oh, you smile nicely, oh, you did. It's like, Having a feeling as if it is Jesus really that is standing before you. That's what I'm talking about. It is when you get to the point, you see that, but I'm seeing Jesus here. I'm, it's like, it's no more Pastor Sunday. It's like Jesus himself. That's what I'm saying. That every Christian should be able to carry Christ and uh, be able to reveal Christ and be able to manifest Christ like that. So um, I hope to be able to. But if you are already hungry for that, if you already want to have that, I think I have a series already. Uh, that on prayers when I was teaching but if you go to listen to my series on prayers and my series on the kingdom you will see I taught one or two or a few messages on how to manifest Christ actually so go for that and you'll be able to see, you'll be, I mean it's not just manifesting Christ for you to see to manifest Christ first of all you, now, you need to learn to see him you need to learn to walk with him first that's the key so I've learned to do that and almost one in every three people I've ever met say the same thing. That it's like we are talking to Jesus. It's like we are seeing Jesus clearly in the man. As if you are representing, as if we are just with Jesus. And that's supposed to be the normal thing for every Christian. And if you don't think it's a normal thing, wait till you go and till you go to listen to those messages. So... It says, but as a result of, uh, I refuse to be discouraged on my daily broadcast despite all these hindrances, data, electricity, bad people talking bad about Pastor Sunday. Uh, I continue to pay the price and to follow him 
Now my members, members of my ministry are already catching the fire like their leader who has become more, they've seen that they have become more diligent like me. They are creating an environment and of success like myself. More importantly, they are drawing people to Jesus just like their leader is doing. Now, what are the fruits that uh, Paul has been able to produce in uh, this less than one year that he has been following me? Number one fruit, he started a special drama film school. And you don't have to have a building to do this. You don't have to have electricity like, pro, you know, month, mm, rental money or property money. He did it online. You just need to have your smartphone online. Because you remember, that's what attracted him to my daily broadcast. And he just learned, his, 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 and he started doing it. So, 5th of September 2016, I started on my personal page. And then later on, I started a public page, uh, Facebook Live Drama School Online. So, there is a link there. If I don't know if Paul is there. If he's there, let him go ahead and give us the link to his school, to his school online. Uh, we offer quality courses in acting. He offers quality services, I mean, courses in acting. Can you imagine? You know, this is just how many people have you profiled? Less than 10. And we already have so diverse segment of people and of sphere of life that people are, you know, it's like a whole country already. Yeah, we have not even started, to, you know, profiling anybody yet. It's like everything you want, you can find here on this platform already. And uh, so he's teaching people acting, he's teaching them directing, he's teaching them script writing, he's teaching them filmmaking, and all this with smartphone. Maybe I should go and learn how to do some of these things. In smartphone, using your smartphone to do all these things. This is amazing. And listen to this. Listen to this. In less than, when did it start? September? That's like one year, it started in September. So this is less than a year. See what he has done. And I have done over 300 videos. And counting 300 live broadcast videos 300 live broadcast videos that's like me 300 amazing number two thing he has done after you know following DSA I have been able to produce <laughs> I've been able to produce and direct over 10 movies. They are short movies, but 10 movies since January this year. This man has been able to produce 10, video, 10, 10 movies since January this year. So you wonder if you have been able to do 10 films only this year alone and 300 other videos, then how many have you produced for, for your 40 years of life? Maybe you have, he has able to even produce more in this less one year than he had, less than one year than he has done in all his 40 years of life. Even if you are a filmmaker before, how many have you able to produce in 40 years of life? And now in less than a year, you have produced 10, I mean, 10 movies and 300 videos. Next thing. Now I've become a consultant, so I started consulting as media film practitioner. So any one of you, if you want to learn to do media or to do video, you know who to go to. You know who to go to. Like, I hope that we have his link. Uh, let's put his link, the link to his Facebook, so that we could all learn from him. Consulting on media and film practitioner for uh, as a film practitioner for others and teaching in other media schools, sharing my expertise freely. My training school is available to train as many people as want to advance the kingdom of God. I have been able to train over 3,000 people already online and offline. Wow. In this one year, 3,000 people. <laughs> and Nigerians are passionate, especially since he's doing it for free. The Nigerians will go for it. Can you imagine 3,000 people already he's been able to train and he's giving them certificate, I guess. 3,000 people. Wow. 
What a result. Some of us don't even have, some of us who are pastors don't even have 3,000 people in our church. But he's been able to graduate 3,000 people online and offline. Ooh, wow. This is just mind blowing. Maybe it's not, maybe it's a mistake. Maybe it's not uh, since it started. Maybe this is not under one year. Maybe this is all through his life. But I think we are talking about DSA platform here. So I think he, he got it right. We'll be able to call him and talk to him. Uh, send me his Skype so that teaching, guiding, and helping in setting up. So now another thing it does, another fruit of this is that it teaches, guides, and helps people in setting up and starting Facebook Live. So if you want to know how to start your own program or project on live Facebook Live, you know Paul will be there for you. The next thing Paul has done over this period of time is that finally up. He has opened a Facebook fan page. Uh, he had this actually five years ago, but it was dormant. Now, he had, he, 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 the Facebook fan page, he started operating it again. It's called Orea, uh, Facebook.com, Oreade.paulishupofo. Next point, that what he has done, I created a WhatsApp group for, the online, for my online students. Brilliant. <laughs> WhatsApp group is a wonderful idea. By the way, I uh, I think, you know, I started, if you go to my blog, my, my YouTube, and on my page, Facebook page, but if you go to YouTube, you'll see, it's, there is something we call illustrative, uh, is it illustrative videos, illustrative videos. Now that's where you see all those short, short videos, right? Short, short videos where I'm talking just for five minutes about the big something. And with video, the one that uh, Famous and Frank is doing. So these videos, uh, I just it just came to my mind today that why don't we or yesterday that why don't we just be putting those videos on WhatsApp? So it's like that now and in our groups, it will be because they are not so long and they are the same message. You can you know and so why don't we just be putting them on WhatsApp? They will be they will go very fast. So he started a WhatsApp group, and that's what I want to challenge everybody that's listening to us also to do. Is there any project in your heart? Is there any project in your mind? You see, you cannot do anything without people. And one of the best ways to get people, it's not even Facebook these days, it's WhatsApp. You know, why don't you start your project on WhatsApp? Why don't you start uh, your own vision on WhatsApp? Just like what we were talking about yesterday with the Hallelujah Challenge, and those people started their own project on what? on not whatsapp what is it called instagram so you know instagram whatsapp especially whatsapp those are some of the places we can already begin to you can already begin to manifest yourself on facebook as well so whatsapp is a really good thing even if you don't have your own project that you want to push you know begin to take the links of some of these messages that we are, you are hearing here any message that has blessed you why don't you take it and put on uh, whatsapp uh, especially the short ones that you know so that it will not take too much data of people so he started a group online on whatsapp for his students then I created a whatsapp group for subscribers of my online videos so he has online videos that people could subscribe to so if you want to subscribe to his online videos either you go to his whatsapp or you go to a Facebook page. Then he created a Facebook chat group. Wow. For special drama film school. Nothing to tell this guy already. He already got everything right. He created a Facebook chat group. He's so, he's so active. And this is for special drama film school online students. So Facebook chat. I don't think that many people take advantage of Facebook chat groups. I think we should all think about using those things to promote our ministries, our visions, and even some of the messages that have been blessing us here. And I think you people need to include all these things in your in the movement against uh, you know against uh, deception in the church. WhatsApp group, WhatsApp online, uh, WhatsApp transcribers. What? Uh, okay, he also started another one for transcribers of his messages. So he has over 300 messages and he has transcribers for them. 
brilliant. That he also created a docu drama for Dr. Sunday Adelaide's Golden Jubilee. And he said it was edited on a smartphone. Wow. I remember that. That was like a film we did, like a drama film, a drama documentary. <laughs> Very good. If you want to see it, go to my, it's there on my YouTube. Uh, and I think it's on his Facebook as well. So, invited friends. The, the next thing he did, I invited friends and shared messages. Ah, no, no, sorry. He says, he's giving testimony that his friends that he invited are now sharing messages and testimonies. Some of them have joined DSA Live broadcast, so they, they now come to watch me live. And they go to listen to my YouTube page. He also says, many who have watched him and listened to him online now produce their own videos so people who have listened to me in him and be blessed by him they are now producing their own videos as well their, their own movies amazing so he's already having like he has trained three thousand people and he's already having some of them producing their movies sharing who am i that's my book i have a book that's called who am i so sharing this subject soft a soft a long time on no problem with a friend because for a friend because of my principles of life purpose driven so he was sharing with people with some of his friends the principles in the book who am i and he was able to resolve for them their long-standing problems right so another testimony is given here is that i am encouraged to celebrate okay because today is his 40th birthday right i told people are greeting him and congratulating him for his 40th birthday so today is Paul's 48th birthday, and he said he has learned from the way Dr. Adela just celebrated his 50th birthday, that he, the birthday should be celebrated the kingdom way. So listen what this guy has done. Today, on his birthday, he is in the orphanage. He is in the orphanage, and I think I saw the live broadcast. It was just, just as I was about to come on, I saw his live broadcast going on from the orphanage. So I don't know if he's listening to us now, but because he's in that orphanage, and but he had, if, even though he had volunteered there for ten years, but now he had decided to even take his birthday there, and he's doing his birthday, celebrating his birthday with the needy people, with the down and out, just like the way Jesus would have liked it. Beautiful. You are fully, you are following the heart of God right there, by there, and that is more important to God than tight. Just in case. <laughs> okay, the next thing he said, I will be releasing a book. Ooh. Yeah. So he's not just going to celebrate his birthday with the Dawah and out and the orphanages. He's actually releasing a book on his 40th birthday, just like me. <laughs> that is why kingdom examples are very important. So the thing I was doing, I said, like I said, I was doing not just for me, but to, I'm setting a pace. And I was just, uh, you know, modeling how things should be done. And so people are copying already. People are going for it. Although somebody wrote me the other day yesterday and said, uh, she's a lady in England, one of the people who was responsible for the uh, celebration of Dr. Sonda Dilaja in London, that she was very, she in particular was very offended by what I did. Okay, so what did I do? Because they were celebrating me and they did their best, they spent their money, they gathered the people, they celebrated the way they knew. And now Dr. Sunday came on the air and blast, blasted all of them and said that's not the way to do it and all that, that she was very offended. Well, what can I say? Everybody have their right to be offended, isn't it? So that's okay. But I hope you learn one or two things from... <laughs> I hope she learned one or two things. I hope she learned one or two things anyway. So I hope she learned one or two things, yeah. I hope she learned one or two things. But uh, Paul, Paul was able to learn one or two things. So now you see, she is celebrating his birthday totally differently. So, um, so he's writing a book. 
thanks to the example that he saw with Dr. Sunday Adela Jari celebrated 58, I now have a small level of, now that's another victory he's writing here. He's writing this as a fruit. He said, I used to be very religious, now I'm less religious. And I've thrown away a big chunk of my religiosity. <laughs> now I'm helping other young people in Nigeria to, set, to get set free from the bondage of the religion. I've also been able to help those who are unable to navigate the Facebook Live platform. Some men and women called to help out on how to get... So, so men and women were calling him for him to help them on how to start Facebook Live. So he's, he's doing that for free and he's helping people to start their own platforms. Pastor, I'm on fire. Very much available to help anybody now. Wow. <laughs> so if you need his help, you know, there's his link there. Go look for Paul Eshu Paul for Oriya Day. Okay. Now, his story continues. I have been able to effectively maximize time because I have a series on time. I'm sure he listened to that. Knowing that it is the best resource given to man, according to Pastor Sunday. Pastor Sunday has made me to become more aggressive in the work of the ministry. No more waiting for grace. No more waiting for God to do it. No more expecting manna from heaven for nothing. Uh, now I'm more aggressive about the work of the ministry organizing seminars and training not minding the limitations such as funds and they have good i mean great limitations in africa no electricity no internet no data no money no power no generator all kind of things and he said it's been very effective and um and even no equipment no training venues high cost of equipment but this guy is not limited he's not allowing all those things to hold him down so, the participation of Dr. Sunday Adelaja in one of my online classes uh, in February, February 24th this year has attracted more people to my platform. Oh yeah, because I saw him one day and I don't know what I was doing. I was a little bit free. So I just decided to join him. So I was listening to him, learning, but thank God it encouraged a few people. So what are my plans? So let's hear about other plans that he's got. So these are the fruits. I mean, normally we will write four, five, no, nine, ten. I mean, he's written 17. 17 fruits that he has been able to produce this last year. So now he has even greater plans, all right? So what are my plans from now on? One of my goals is to advance the kingdom of God through balanced training in drama film production with our demission of the said me said my to equip people through training and constant support in the arts and science of drama filmmaking music multimedia productions resulting in producing highly qualified anointed professionals and independent entrepreneurs ready to impart their generation to the glory of god second plan another role to play is to help people become more Christ-like through storytelling, learning the skill and speaking the language of storytelling to the nations and to edify, to edify the body of believers to rise up to their responsibility in building nations of the world. Brilliant. Number three vision he has, raising more competent, you see, this guy is found purpose. He has discovered purpose. He will never be distracted anymore. Raising more competent hands in media, so we want to raise more teams, more people, to correct all the social, and there is a purpose why he wants to raise this team, not just for himself, but to correct all the social vices and ills in our society. Beautiful. <laughs> Job creations, that's another goal he has put before himself to set up job creation avenues b b uh, through professional development of skills in this in his own area of drama right and provision of lifelong learning in movies and film industry job creation beautiful next point establish technical skills in middle level manpower in art and entertainment 
So he wants to establish uh, technical skills in middle level, level manpower in arts and entertainment. So next point, to be more creative, imaginative and innovative and acquire more knowledge and work hard to be a living Wiki, Wikipedia like Dr. Sunday to draw men to Christ, impacting and influencing the nation positively. Last, no, next point, a lot of Pastor Sunday's ideas can be turned into films. I am planning to turn some of these ideas into important issues, important movies like, I mean, on topics like community development, who am I, Titan, etc. He wants to turn all these things into movies. And people receive and accept movies easier than just talking. Next point, building, yeah, I want to build a world-class cinema and the likely first drama film university to advance the kingdom of God. Wow, amazing. Then finally, engage in some research in the world of movie filmmaking, organizing freer filmmaking workshops and seminars, even to dangerous parts of the northern Nigeria. Pastor Sunday is someone who can who can't just listen to, who you can't just listen to and say that you have gotten all from him. He is a very, very, he is very, very deep in God. You can listen to him for you cannot listen to him for a few days or months and say you know him. You will only have partial understanding. For you to have good understanding of Pastor Sunday, you need to consistently listen to him for at least a period of five years. We should act on whatever we are learning and try to be doers of this knowledge that is coming, that are coming from his teachings. My advice to those who may be thinking it is too late for them in life or have discouraged their children from going to art and filmmaking, you can still pick up your vision for filmmaking and that's what he's talking about. See what I am doing through the daily online film school and let us be diligent in pursuit of excellence. I'm available to assist other people who are interested in media, drama, film, theater, and I'm dedicating the videos that I've made to all of DSA, to all DSA family, I guess. And it's, it's had, it has 300 videos and 10 movies. is dedicating to all of you, the SA family. <laughs> Beautiful job. And he has an e-book that he had just released. So he has his email here. If you want that e-book, I think it's for free. He can send it to you. It's going to be called Niger it's called Nigeria is waiting. Africa is expectant. Victory on every side. Nigeria is waiting. Africa is expectant. Victory on every side. That is Paul Ishu Pofo Orea Day for you. And uh, beautiful. So I'm going to ask uh, Mayowa to read some of the comments. Why I go look for Orea Day. Uh, and call him and then we are going to be able to hear his own story hello everyone how are you doris is saying we love you king paul we have triumph saying dsa family happy to be here again thank you to, uh triumph welcome thank you doris adewale is clapping for you toluwa is clapping for you as well oluwa yinka is clapping for you uh, Chi Sandra, well done, Brother Paul, with lots of claps. Nwe is clapping as well. Uh, Vivian clapping, Doris clapping, Monica clapping. Pat says, thank you for opening our eyes. More grace and wisdom in Jesus' name. That's from Pat. Doe says, I'm watching from Boston, but I'm from Uganda. Welcome, Doe. I hope we'll see you again. There's another program starting at 9 p.m. Ukraine time. Please join us. Omonike is clapping as well. Lua Toyin, clap, clap, clap. Omonike Ikeade says, we learned one or two things on how to celebrate the kingdom way. Thanks so much, DSA. 
that's from Olanike, referring to Kingdom Way celebration. Paul is saying, thanks so much, sir. Paul again from the orphanage home is saying to us. Then we have a lot of claps. Paul, I'm on my way, okay. Then we have Elizabeth, happy birthday to uh, King Paul. A lot of clap, Paul, for you. Um, yes, awesome. Blessings, family. Uh, K Paul, please, what app do you use to edit the video? Is it Android? Mm -hmm. So, Elizabeth, why don't you contact uh, Paul on his messenger, on his Facebook messenger, and ask him as many questions as possible? Or on his Facebook page. Or on his Facebook page as well. So, please get or in WhatsApp, touch. Yeah. Or WhatsApp, if he's giving you the number for the WhatsApp. Paul, Instagram is great idea too. Sound bit of sound bit of the teaching. That's from Paul is giving a suggestion. Paul, Paul, are you ready? Okay, He's everybody. Now, so we're going to switch back. Yes, we have Paul here. First of all, let us congratulate Paul on his birthday today. 40, 40 years old. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Wow. Tell there is there is something that is very curious in your there is something that is very curious in your biography in your write-up that you wrote to us, your testimony, your story. You say you have done three three hundred films. Is that after, since you met I mean live broadcast? That's after you met the after you yes, made sir. the essay? Yes, sir. Over. Mm. Huh? Over. Over 300. Oh. Yes, sir. And you say you've been able to do 10 movies, short movies, since J January this year? Yes, sir. It's over 10, sir. Over 10. <laughs> we were thinking that maybe there is a mistake there. Maybe these are the things you have done all through your life. So I'm wondering if you have been able to do this in less than a year, then what have you been doing the 40 years before then? <laughs> I've, been, I've been shooting. <laughs> Tell me the transformation that has taken place in your life ever since you came on board. Yes, uh, thank you so much for this awesome, awesome privilege. I'm so much excited about it. And it's just divinely arranged, not because... Uh, I arranged it that you, you pick me today. No, I don't know about that. Are you serious? I thought you set it up. This is God. It's you, it's God, it's God and my wife who probably did that for you. Holy Spirit. Even my wife said she didn't know. Hello, Paul. Nigeria, oh, <laughs> you have maybe do you have WhatsApp? Is the WhatsApp number you have it? I don't know if you have his WhatsApp number. No, but write him on. Uh, write let him send it. So we could call him on WhatsApp, and uh, you people use WhatsApp, right? Because I don't use WhatsApp, but I discover a lot of Nigerians use WhatsApp. You have his number. Oh, you would give him. Yeah, I'll give him one. Will it be loud enough so that people will hear? Yes, it will. Yeah, yeah, the volume should be high enough for people to hear. Or uh, is the WhatsApp going to be clearer than Skype? Uh, it will be clear. It's, yeah, the internet is better. And he's traveling. He's traveling from uh, to from his place, from the orphanage. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. So he's moving. So we are going to try to get him now again. Please, have you sent it to him? Yes. Okay. You can send it. Too. Send it to me too, so that I too could send it to him. This guy is very, very productive, and he has he has already trained three thousand students. And he said he started doing all these things after he started listening to DSA. Ten movies, short movies, 
300 live broadcasts, live videos, and uh, 3,000 students. I hope every one of us will be as productive as that. Though. He doesn't need internet. Uh, does he need internet to call? Yeah. Yes, yes. He needs internet to call. I can call. So amazing. This guy is very productive. 3,000 people. And then he wrote a book on his 40th birthday. Besides that, he's right now celebrating his 40th birthday with the orphans because the kingdom way. <laughs> uh, he has groups on WhatsApp that he uses to mentor his students, his drama students. Then he has another group on WhatsApp that are helping him to transcribe his uh, videos. That's another great idea for uh, for all of you. You might be, want to do, you know, I think we should begin to use WhatsApp a lot. And then um, he has special drama film school online. He uses online to train and to, you know, have students. That's why he's been able to do 3,000 students in less than a year. Uh, he did one film on my birthday too, as actually almost two films, I would say. Um, and his disciples are already doing the same thing that he's doing. Sorry. Hi, Paul. Hello. Okay, hold on. Paul? Yes. Okay, use mine. It has to be loud enough then. Speak loud. Can you make it louder? Okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay, we have Paul is back. So it's true. Even Mayo was said she didn't she didn't know that today was your birthday. No, no. Wow, that is a divine setup right there. <laughs> Tell us about the changes that have that you yourself have experienced and uh, you know in your own life. After you started listening on DSA platform. Okay, thank you, sir. Firstly, I noticed that the religion part of me that is remaining must be chopped out. You don't just do things aimlessly because everybody's doing it. You don't just do it because the Bible says you should do it. You do it because the Bible said it and it's going to help humanity. How did you how did how did you how did you pick that lesson up? How did you notice that? Because the one of the biggest problems that I personally have faced from members of who, people who are Christians is that they are always asking me, why are you always doing everything different? Why are you not doing everything everybody else is doing? Why are you not copying all that? You are always doing strange, why are you are always conflicting and uh, what do you think? Controversial. You are always controversial, always coming against what everybody else is doing. So, so how did you pick that up? Because that's a very important lesson and many people want to conform. It is easier for people to conform. How did you pick that one up? Sincerely, sir, my life has always been similar to yours. Okay. Most times I think differently, I do things differently, and people ask me, why are you doing that? And for the first time, I'm seeing somebody who is a pastor doing things differently. So my eyes was opened more I be able to refer now. I have a kind more more confidence. If I'm referring, if I'm doing something, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Series was really really a very powerful thing. Who am I? Was a very very powerful thing to me. Then conversion, knowing that whatever you are doing, you are doing it to the right mind. Yes. Then because anybody said it, your revelation is your revelation. I want to discover who God is by myself. Yes. That is what all the ministers have told me. When I gave my life to Jesus, they keep on saying, know God yourself, not what I say to you. Understand God yourself. So when I saw that in you, sir, and I saw the analytical thinking was a blown off, that why won't blow me away. I won't deceive you. 
Till now, I've not been able to recover about it. I want to read, I want to go and listen to it over and over again. Because sometimes the internet will be bad. Sometimes, even right now, when it was off, the, the, the network, not the network, uh, the, the battery went off. But I have determined that it's possible something like that will happen. I went with a power bank. As I'm talking, we are on our way back home, from orphanage home. I was listening on the way. So and I know the battery went off, and I said, no, nothing can stop me. Let them bring the battery off. <laughs> no excuses. Yes, sir. But why, why were you shocked so much by the thinking, analytical, the art of thinking series? Say that again, sir. You said the thinking series. The thinking series was very yeah, life-changing for you. Why? Why that particular topic? Because I'm sorry to say this, but I'm going to say it. Many Christians don't think. They live like bioness. Many don't think whatever they said to them, they just take it like that. <laughs> I don't take it. I want to take it deeper. What does it mean? Let me see from other version. Let me see other person. Let me see other philosophical uh, idea to you. Let me see other dimension. And as a storyteller, I, pick, I picture things a lot. So if you're saying it, and I look at it from the scriptural perspective, and I say this is correct, nobody can stop me. And so do you think that ability to think the Nigerian church is one thing that the Nigerian church might need today? Or the worldwide church? Nigerian church need it. African church need it. In fact, let me say from this part of the world, the Yoruba setting that I belong to. They, they, in fact, there is nothing you do. They look at you as if you are crazy. They even say I'm abnormal. Somebody say I'm hyper spiritual. They said all this before I met you. But by meeting you now, they are telling calling me names. Which I am not ready to go back there to their thinking. Thinking, the Bible says whatever lovely, whatever good report, think on this. The Bible never says we should not think. I don't know where they are taking that Bible from. The Bible says think on this. Something that can help the nation, something that can help me, something that can help the body of Christ, I should think on it. Not just taking anything, anything, anyhow. Then, even uh, uh, assumption is also a good sign. I was thinking assumption is a, is a bad thing. So when you assume about something, it's not that it's so bad like that. So also let know. So if you assume, you can ask further question to ask clarification of what you're doing. Yes. So, so what are the other changes that have been going on since this time in your life, on, ongoing changes? Yes. One of the things also for, for us as a family, for us, as, because most time when I'm listening, I'm listening with my wife. Right now, she's also listening. I'm listening with our son. Uh, most times, I listen with them because I know that my first my first church, my first audience is my family. If I fail in the family, I fail in all. Yes. And I saw the stores. You show us your evil private life with parents, with your with, with your children, with your wife. In fact, I saw that. Say no, this man is real. There is nothing you can tell me. Thank God I didn't hear all those nasty news. Uh, news rather, but thank God I didn't hear it. And by the time some people, somebody was almost stopping me. Stop listening to this man. He said, "Don't worry yourself." Don't worry yourself. When you listen, go and listen to this one. So, in, in my life, there are doing a kind of changes. And uh, two, I also discovered that I have a better approach to my storytelling. Because now, I'm having a worldview more than just my African pattern, than just my immediate environment. Then I, I begin to think local. That is, I think globally, I, I begin to activate it locally. That is from that I can be able to reach out more to people. Then I discover that just like what I've been listening to for years is life, my life is more important than the ministry. Not just doing ministry around. My life is more important than ministry. And I love one thing that also encouraged me more. When I got late to my father, he told me, he said, I, I told him I said, I'm doing a documentary for Pastor Sunday. He was so glad. He was so happy. If we are to be some mentors, they are tormentors. Many pastors are tormentors. <laughs> do this, don't do this. They are tormentors. I'm writing a book already. I'm writing a book already. Torment mentors or tormentors? <laughs> mentors or tormentors? <laughs> so, I, I, it, to me, it's just like quelling the fire for me. It's just quelling the fire. 
I've all through my life, the Lord arranges, and knowing you is not a mistake, it's divinely arranged. So it's like, from fire to fire to fire, I don't have excuse. I just have to give God the best. I, you started to talk about your family and the changes in your family and that your wife is there, but you quickly moved on. I want you to talk more oh, about sorry. your family and your wife and your relationship okay. and, yeah. Okay, now, my wife... What, what, one of the things that you show, you show the, a diagram, a particular diagram, how chemistry of a woman works, that all the buttons are on. Since that time, I understood my wife better. <laughs> I understood, and not only that, I went on location during that session. I was on location directing a film during that session. I was able to undo every situation in that location to the glory of God because of that teaching. Everybody was saying, is this for a ball? Mm -hmm. Say, I'm listening to a message that is in line and is blessing my life. And I'm not just listening, I'm activating it. But what, 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 surpri no. what surprised them? What, what was it that they were saying, is it for the ball? They know that the way I will undo it, I will just talk. Just like I'm talking to you now, it's like a military person talking with all strength. I talk with strength. So by the time they talk, I just say, okay, what do you think that means? So I was left in a bit patient with them. Now trying to understand what could have been happening around them. Instead of just giving my instruction or giving the direction and I just go. Is your wife there with you? Yes, sir. Is she open to sharing? Or she doesn't have to, but just in case she is open to. And she can talk. She can also talk to me. But make sure you don't make her to talk. Oh. You must ask her for permission. Because what Nigerians normally do is that uh, Pastor Sunday is here, take the telephone talk. You've got to ask her for permission. If she's not comfortable and she's it's not convenient for her, don't make her talk, oh, please. She has to be ready psychologically. And as a woman, women need to do things ahead and see things ahead and plan ahead and, you know, get herself ready emotionally, psychologically, and, you know, it's more complex for the women than for the men. So make sure you don't just ask her that you talk, unless she already wanted to do it. To do it. Hello, my sister. <laughs> Hello, my sister. What's your name again? Yes. My name is Grace. Grace. Wow. What, what a name. We are all here. We are, we are all hearing you now. Explain, explain. I said, no, at the beginning, when we were listening to the message, I was somehow confused. I didn't really understand. And I felt oh, that's what you want to listen to. At least I've been praying that God will keep uh, taking us deeper and deeper in, uh, in his word. And uh, that was what brought, uh, took, uh, made us to like, have this hymn when we were getting married. The hymn we chose for our wedding uh, ceremony was deeper, deeper in the school of wisdom, they didn't let me grow. So in the course of that period, I felt like, oh, this is one of our prayers, and God is answering it this way. So I just have to like calm down and uh, allow him, if I meet him several times, he might even not have our time <laughs> at home. But uh, we joyfully listen to you together, and we've been blessed, and we still keep on listening. And the Lord will help you. In fact, I want to say a special uh, thanks to Mama. <laughs> who is Mama? Who is Mama? Who, who is Mama? Who is Mama? <laughs> your wife. <laughs> Pastor Bosse. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, oh yes, we don't call her mama. Oh. We don't we don't call her mama here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's Nigeria factor. <laughs> 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 what what I really, I really encouraged to stand by you. 
in the course of that, uh, in the course of this time, this uh, this challenge is really encourages me. So you've been able to observe, observe and notice that she is standing, right? Yes, sir. How has your life changed? How has your family changed? How has your husband changed since you started listening, uh, coming to the family? He has, he has said almost everything, sir. I have three questions. Three questions. How has... Sir? Three questions I ask. Listen, listen very carefully. How, how has your family changed? How has your how has your life changed? All right. Sir. And how has uh what was the third one I said? How has your husband changed? No, uh, first let me start from the last story. My husband, his life has changed in the aspect of uh, listening more. Now he listens more now. He listens more. Now, when we are talking, when we are having a family discussion, he listens more. Before, he will have gotten the mind, but he won't, like, calm down to really on the ball. After that, uh, women, uh, psycho... Series, yes, show. yes. Uh, I've, seen the, I've seen changes in that aspect. <laughs> then, as a father, he's more loving. More loving as a father. So, Yes, to our son, yes. They communicate more than when I communicate with the guy. <laughs> with our boy now. Okay. Then for me, I listen to, um, I think the role of a woman in the house, I don't really, um, uh, I can't really remember the title, how you put it. Yeah, when we are talking to the women. Yes. Then, um, at the time you mentioned the issue of uh, sex. Yes. And uh, carrying your husband along emotionally, abandoning them. So I've not been abandoning him, but at least I've learned much again. Yes. Your husband doesn't want sex, he needs sex. Yes, sir. Yes. And then your family. Ah, in fact, we are we are getting people people do understand us again. <laughs> <laughs> so we are coming from <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> say, say that again. I said people do understand us before. We are now listening to uh, Pastor Sergei. We became more complex. <laughs> For people to understand. Yes, because we are always telling them, and we keep on telling them. We don't even wait for them to share their uh, their challenges with us before we start telling them what ought to be <laughs> and what a family ought to be. So, thank you so very much. Is there any other thing you would like to say, Grace? Hello, Grace. Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, I would like to say thank you very much for obeying God. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I hear you now. Hello. Yes. Go, go. I want to say thank you for your courage. I thank God for making you who you are, and thank you for obeying God to do what you are doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is Paul still there? Yes. Thank you. Yes. yes I, I, uh, I, I was hearing you better before. How are you now? Is it okay? I'm good, sir. Oh, good. No, that's okay. Now, I have a question for you. With the kind of progress, how much progress have you seen in your life and in your ministry 
in one year compared to the years before? How much progress, how will you compare the progress you have witnessed? Hello, sir. Yes, can you, can you hear me now? Hello? I think we lost him again. Okay, guys. That is Paul Eshu Pofo Oriade there from Nigeria. I don't know what town he's in. He's from. I think he's from Ibadan. Ibadan in Nigeria. So let's hear some of the comments. Let's see what people are saying. Okay, then. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my face. Not really. Awanike says, well, love. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. Put the next one. Yes, I said, what is the, uh, what will you say, uh, at the, how will you compare your life before DSA platform to now? What, at, how will you compare the results you had for the, for the past 40 years of your life and for this last one year? Okay. Uh, well, I don't know how to grade, but I will grade it this way that, uh, I'm on average before, on average before. But right now, I'm rocketing higher. <laughs> maybe if I'm going to give myself, because I'm still learning, maybe I'll give myself about 65, 75. But I'm really learning. I'm really learning. You, mean, really... you mean that the speed has increased, or you have more results, or you have more fruits? I have more results. It has increased. I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but it has increased, really. It has increased. Now, really, my wife is the best person to explain, uh, to express me more. So I was so happy when you demand, uh, when you make um, how to really talk. And that's the exact principle we use. We don't know if it's correct. That I don't, I don't force her to do anything. Even ministry, I don't force her to do anything. She pick her things, she pick her choice, she pick everything. I never knew it is it's supposed to be like that. Excellent. But I, we are just doing our own. We are just doing our own. We are just using that principle until you set it out. So if she wants to do anything, and I want to do anything, I take for her permission. Sometimes she will say, I'm asking too much for her permission. I say, no, I can't just do anything anyhow. <laughs> if you don't agree with me, don't let us do it. It started during our courtship. If you are making any decision and she's not agreeing, I have to wait until she has agreed. Brilliant. Okay, what will you, what will you say to people on DSA platform here that have just started listening to... To our messages. Okay, I will answer. But King Michael wants to say happy birthday to you. He just he just came to me and said he wants to say happy birthday to you. Oh, okay. That is uh, Oj Labi or what was then? No. King, King. Happy birthday, Bakasanda Delaja. That's your son. Yes, sir. Ah. <laughs> King Michael. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you. I appreciate you. You are so bold like your father. That your boldness, that your boldness will transcend Nigeria and touch Europe and touch the four corners of the earth in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Is your father there? Yes, I've collected it. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, really. But one of the things I want to say, people should not just be religious with yes, 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 so that we don't end up entering to another religion. We should be sincere because what yes, the teaching, what Dr. Sonia Rilaja is teaching, is to draw us closer to God, not to Himself. Not to Himself. So if you're on this platform, you're hearing me, anytime you are hearing Pastor Sunday talking or teaching, don't see it as I'm, I'm listening to Pastor Sunday. Just see it as I'm listening to God inside him to draw me closer to God. That has been my own personal, personal uh, belief. Not just shouting, oh, I'm listening to Sunday at Elijah. I, I can't tell myself, I'm, I'm, I want to listen and listen and listen well. I gave myself the same thing I wrote down, five years. If I can listen consistently five years, then I, 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 I know that it's, it's, it's going to be great. 
So anybody listening, most of the things that they should also put into action, whatever they are learning. And also, anyone who has a vision for drama and film should never think it's too late. It's never too late. Maybe some people have dropped the vision. Maybe they have thought that it's, maybe some have even discouraged their children from going to theater or drama. The hope is here. If you can apply the teaching, the hope is here. And if you are confused, I'm available to tell you how and how to do it in the godly way, in the God-driven, if I like say kingdom, purple-driven way. That is, you are driven to God to get your goal achieved, being diligent, being hard work. Nobody should sit down just listen and listen for listening's sake. I've not listened like I've not listened to up to many of people have listened, but the one I've listened, I make sure that oh, this data I'm I'm I'm, I'm applying, I'm using. I want to make sure that my life is transformed after the whole data. We use Wi-Fi is not working. We use all of the network is not working. So now, if I teach, I must make sure that what I'm getting, I'm using. So whatever anybody by the grace of God, please use it. Don't just go around just sharing. Don't just share. Make sure that you're sharing, you also partake of that share. So that you not just be a signpost. That's my own advice. Sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, another thing I would like to say is that um, being in Nigeria, you, yes, you are one of the examples. I'm sure you have watched other kingdom kingdom fruits and you see the kind of transformation that is happening in the lives of people you said you have yes. trained 3,000 people already yes sir okay yes. those, those 3,000 people you have trained and even the ones you are going to train more I want you to make it a point of duty to teach them these are my advice for you to teach them several things one make sure that they don't just got, get trained in drama and theater and uh, other, you know, acting. Filmmaking. Filmmaking. Yes, which is good. That is the skills area. Let, teach them to be the best. But besides that, I think you should also, most importantly, teach them on how to become kingdom carriers. That's right, sir. And number two, I mean, number three, Make sure that that is part of your curriculum. Next thing, make sure that you also teach them on value systems. All right. Make sure that you disciple people in a new paradigm so that they, you will see them as a new set of breed, as a new set of people that will bring kingdom culture and kingdom value systems to our society, to Nigeria, and penetrate the whole society with it. Okay, sir. Can I say something, sir? No, no. Before you say something, let me, I'll, I'll finish. Next Sorry, point, sir. next point, next point, make sure you teach them to be bold. All right, sir. Teach them to have what I call, I have a teaching on that, I don't know. It should be somewhere on the internet. It's called, a, it's called moral courage. Teach them on moral courage. Teach them to not to be respecter of men and not to be people who fear men. For next, next, next thing that I think that will really help is you might need to think about a, a, the idea of a library or a club so that you also make available to them not just books and videos and audios but all those things including your videos your own teachings and all these things you have been learning yourself from this platform all right sir and uh you know and you know club and things that are there Next point, make sure that you engage people who are following you to always pursue some projects and, yeah, some projects that, that everybody must have a project. And their projects must not just be in their own line of profession, but their project also must have 
uh, the kingdom impact and social relevance. Nice. So those are the things that I think I feel like God wants me to tell you about. But yeah, I'm sure they are going to be a conf just a confirmation of what God is already leading you. Now I'm listening to you. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, actually, we started the training over ten years ago. Okay. Uh, and uh, we one of the first one of the courses is the the School of Spirit and the School of uh, Spirit, okay. where we discover people want to know the art alone. They don't want to know about God. So we have that uh, something. The way you put it now, I will now make it more structured, uh, more tailored. We use um, um, shepherd staff, but we will now make it more structured, including all this teaching there. So I really appreciate that. And we're about 3,000, from the time we have been training people, both online and offline, we have been able to reach out to 3,000 people. Brilliant. Both online online. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, but what Nigeria needs right now, like I just said, is that Nigeria needs more of transformers than survivors. That's true, sir. And most people who go to learn skills and who go to learn uh, and want people to train them, they want you to you, they want to have the skill so that they will get a job or so that they will have their daily bread. So we must make sure that daily bread is always secondary. We must make sure that we teach them that so anybody who is trying to have, to survive we doesn't end up living. He only struggles through life. And that the people who end up living are the people who are willing to give up their life. They are the ones who get, who get it. So they must be willing to live for Christ, live for God in the sense that not just for God in the religious sense, but in the sense of in the sense of bringing about change. Yes, so they must be willing to fulfill their mandate and their calling. That is in that sense. If they are ready to lose their life in that sense, so so making making their callings and their uh, their mandate from God priority rather than survival then they will live in abundance eventually. I'm actually right. Yes, brilliant. Good idea. So, thank you so much. In the next 30 minutes, we are going, I'm, co I'm going off live to, start, to wow. start the next, uh, the next series. I have another series that I'm starting today. It's your church a cult. So, <laughs> So maybe there is something you would still like to say before we we'll say bye bye to you and uh, happy birthday okay. again. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, seated there, I want to appreciate everybody. Uh, Mayowa, thank you very much. I want to thank God for everybody in the house. Mama Shuruke, everybody. I want to thank everybody. Uh, God celebrated this birthday this way. I appreciate it because I never planned it this way. But the Lord will trace it when the correction of the 50th came. That this is what you used to do. Don't change it this time around. So you see the way this man of God has done it. Please don't just do it anyhow. And I want to say something. Please, please. Any opportunity God is giving us to reach out, let us reach out. Let us just do what we can do. I know right now the level of the church, sickness, I wouldn't say the church is sick. The church is dying. The church is dying. It's not just sick again. It's already decaying. It will take a lot of time and grace and more diligence to really bring out the church back from its techness. I want to say thank you for real opportunity, real privilege on behalf of my wife, our son, and the coming baby. I want to say thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you so very much, uh, Paul. I want you to also greet, uh, is it, what does he call himself? Is it my uh, uh, apostle Mike. or Mike yeah, Bamiloye? Right. Is he apostle? Yeah, huh? My is it no I'm I'm talking about the apostle that be Mike uh, Bamiloye. Or? Yes. yes, my daddy, yeah. Yeah, yeah I that's to Yes, I want you to I want you to greet him for me. Is it does he use apostle? what does he use? Does he use any title? In fact, in fact, we until we are growing up, we call him bro Mike, bro Mike. Later we now put it he's evangelist, my calling. Evangelist, okay. So let me greet Evangelist Mike uh, 
Bamelo. Uh, he has been to my. Yes, I tried to Scotland right now. He must be watching too. Ah, he has been to my house. Very with his yes. son, with his son, very wonderful man. In fact, there was a time. Let me quickly tell you a story. I, I told this story yes, in one of my live yes, broadcasts. Sir. There was a time we were, there, somebody was organizing an event in the national stadium of Abuja, and I was one of the speakers, and he was there too. But I saw him sitting down, just very humble, humbly in the stadium among the ministers, and I said, "Ah, who is this man? Is that not the man I've been seeing on, in the film doing the?" So, Pastor, uh, no, no, the, the person who invited me, no, the person who invited me was uh, Bishop uh, Waleoke. So, Bishop Waleoke okay. said, Yes, he's the one, he's the one, he's, uh, he's attending the program. I said, Ah, so I went, I, when I was speaking at that time, I was, the, I was the speaker. So, I went to the stage, and, I, I, and all these people were pastors, bishops, pastors from all over Nigeria. And I said, this man that is sitting there humbly like that, I think I invited him or I told him to stand or come. Then I said, this man is more important than all of us that are sitting here. And you people don't even notice him. Wow. <laughs> I said, you people don't even notice him at all. He is more important than me. He is more important than all of you who are doing church. Because even though he's not the, he's not, he's not the pastor, he he's doesn't need to be a pastor. What he's doing is more than what the pastor does. Because he is going beyond the four walls of the church. He is going beyond the four walls of the church and he just sitting down there. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I told him, this was 2007 uh, in the National Stadium or 2006 or something. I said, so this man is more important than all of us and we should be supporting someone like this. Every one of you should invite him to his church, to your church. You should be supporting him, giving him what, and he should be teaching you, he should be teaching every Nigerian church. On how to do church out of the four walls of the church. Wow. Yes, yeah, so. Uh, he was the one mention, mentioning you to me, God's my perfect thing. <laughs> the humble, the humble heart, your love for God, that was the registered thing. I never listened to any. When he said it and he was encouraging me, I said, wow, I've not seen people like this. Yes, yeah, so. He is a. He is a real, real genuine man. And I think for me, he is one of the most influential Nigerian Christians right now in that country. In that country. But I'm, I'm very, very sorry that the church is not putting him on the pedestal. The church is not, he's, he's affecting all, of, all their members. He is more important than all those church big pastors and bishops. But so we've got to change that in Nigeria. We've got to make sure that church celebrates people who are promoting Christ and that we don't have to be pastors or evangelists or bishop to be celebrate to be to fulfill our mandate and our calling every one of us have our calling in different spheres of life and he is doing a very very good job and he's even come here to Ukraine to teach people he's gone to America, every all over the world is uh, is a blessing and my love and greetings to him and his wife yes sir Yes, sir. So, My teacher, sir. yes, I show. Uh, is uh, is Grace still there? Yes, sir. Okay, I want to say bye bye to her and to uh, King Mike, and say thank you so much. Keep on doing the good job, and uh, God bless you and expand your territory. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. The world is waiting for you. The next generation is expecting your voice over hard, Mike. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Bye, Blessings. Sir. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, my well, let's hear what our people are saying before you stop. Hello, guys. Anastasia is clapping. Paul, so it's you. Long time, brother. That's from OK. And so then, somebody knows him. Right? Yes. And then Monica says, daily bread must be secondary. This is well taken by me as well. Thank you so much, DSA. Kudos to you, King Paul. That's from you, Foma. Lola, absolutely, Brother Paul. Happy birthday, Brother Paul from Shola. Then we have, please, I just want to ask, what happened? what's happening in the world? Trouble everywhere. That's Kelsey. Kelsey. <laughs> okay. Um, daily bread is always secondary, deep. That's Uluwatoin saying that. 
Good evening, everyone. That's from Kelsey Game. Uh, Transformer, Transformer Dent Survivor. Elizabeth writing that, that that's what we need in Nigeria. Transformers more than survivors. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. And then uh, Onyi, Onyi says, beautiful. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Sidra Ade said, awesome. Very powerful tel testimony. May the Lord continue to increase you. Happy birthday. That's from Sidra Ade. Uh, Amonika, thanks so much, King Paul. We also have Amen, very sharp boy, King Michael. That's a little boy, a young man. King Michael is a, uh, uh, is, okay, is a son. Clap, clap, clap. Teaching, the teaching, uh, Monica says, clap, clap, clap. The, that teaching on women's series is really lovely. That made me to understand myself because I used to think I was so weird. Thanks so much, DSA4. For this teaching. Olua Tuyen says, wow, she's deep, she's she's a deep think thinker. I think that's the wife Olua Tuyen is referring to. Welcome, Grace. They're saying hello to, to the wife. Paul, oh, you have truly been transformed. Thanks for the good work you are doing. That's from Chioma. They're saying that. Uh Precious is saying the ability to think has been taken away from all African churches. They even use the word to make it look bad. Thank God we have studied to, to show ourselves approved. Thank you very much, Precious. Yes, young man, awesome. That's from Vivian. The ability to think has been withdrawn from the Nigerian church. That's Chioma also saying that. Yeah, we have. Thanks so much, sir. Please sign me up for movement, sir. In fact, as a committee member, sir. That's from Onyi. Hello, everyone. This is a good time to actually give the announcement. Yes, thank you very much, Onyi. Um, this movement is called Movement Against Deception in the Church. Everyone is urged to please join. There's a form on Dr. Sunday's page and all the other pages that we have. The, um, the family page, DSA Family Chat, DSA Continues, any DSA-related pages. Well, the form is posted on it so please it's a two minute form it won't take you long at all to complete the form please do that and make sure also um that uh we're friends with you either myself or Catherine or dr sunday you like dr sunday's page so that we can send you information by via uh, facebook messenger and also uh, there's going to be an instruction that will be sent out a letter so look out for it it may go into your spam if it's the first letter from me, it may go into your spam, but do your best to, to complete the form. That's the joining form. If you complete this form, they will be able to notify you and give you information. And also, there's a page already now, which is, is, um, is called Movement Against Deception in the Church. You will find that on Facebook. Please go on the page, like the page, so that we can register your details by you liking the page as well. You will see um, uh, that would en enable us to be able to send you messages. And, you know, post us any information that you see that is deception in church so that we can show people what it really looks like. But we'll be sending a lot of information and communication, so please join us. The first thing first, complete that form, please. Thank you very much. We'll be back in 20 minutes from now. That's 9 p.m. Ukraine time. So we'll see you again shortly. Uh, don't forget the movement against deception and... Deception in the church, movement against deception in the church. Please, please complete the form. It's everywhere. I posted it this afternoon. I will repost it and post it until we get the numbers that we need so that we can move forward with this. Thank you so much. I'll see you shortly. Take care. I might not actually see you, Doctor. I will. I will hear you, but the Sunday will be back shortly. And that person with the angry emoji, I hope you find some smile. Thank you very much, everyone. See you later. Bye.